Holiday's approach to Metro Detroit armed robber went to work. And he stayed very busy throughout the holidays, even afterward, but tonight he's behind bars. Rod Maloney is live in Pontiac with a look at how he got there. Rod? Yeah, Kimberly Devon, this was not a bashful Grinch who sheriff's deputies say did his darndest to try and steal Christmas. He hit or attempted to hit at least nine different businesses, including this floral shop. But tonight he's under arrest. Security cameras gave us a good look at the thief on December 8th when he robbed the Port Huron Days Inn Hotel. They even got a good look at his car in the parking lot. Still, he struck the next night at the Waterford Family Dollar in Elizabeth Lake Road, got away with $1,100, and the store is now boarded up. During the next week, the thief hit a gas station and a laundromat, both in Pontiac, a Waterford Dollar General store, before giving deputies a very good look with his handgun in hand, robbing a Waterford subway. Video cameras rolling. The word was out about him. It didn't deter him from targeting the thrifty florist on Telegraph on Christmas Eve. Owner Chris Rea says the women working that night saw him coming. She immediately backed into the store, locked the door, and uh, and then she noticed that you know this guy kind of ran up and tried to open the door, but they had already locked and secured the, the location, and he left right away. So he went up the street in Auburn Hills and robbed the Dollar General that night. After the holidays and two more robberies, Oakland County Sheriff's deputies arrested 37-year-old Montrea Denise Flack. They say they caught him after he robbed a Sterling Heights jewelry store and then pawned $8,000 worth of gems. He's currently in the Oakland County Jail. Ray is happy to see the arrest. It's good for the, you know, the public and for people so that he can't you know, do any harm to anyone. Um, so, I mean, we're you know, very happy about that, but hopefully he'll get some help. Now, Flack is in the Oakland County Jail, and he has a case in Oakland County before he goes down to the federal court in downtown Detroit. He's got a, a, an arraignment scheduled for February 6th. They allege that he stole upwards of $12,000 during the spree, and in the charging documents, they say he confessed to all of this, and they say that he claims the gun was a pellet gun. They have recovered that. Reporting live in Pontiac, Rod Maloney, Local 4.